The food bank started in the fall of 1984. It was started as what was supposed to be a temporary solution to help individuals in the community who are experiencing hunger. And here we are almost 40 years later. So what the Food Bank of Waterloo Region does is we acquire and distribute the food to the Community Food Assistance Network who then provide service to those in need. So when, when you receive a large donation from uh, community partners that, say, hold a food bank night, when they arrive here, when they drop it off, what's the process at that point, getting this food sorted? So how do those, all those fit, fit into like different descriptions and whatnot and how they can be uh, distributed properly? Definitely. It is quite the process, and it's a process that we've continued to develop over time. Um, but you raised a good point that I didn't mention earlier, and that's community partners who are also... Um, community members, whether that's corporate team members that come together to run a food drive, or maybe it's a group of friends who get together to dry something. And when that food comes to the Food Bank of Waterloo Region, it gets weighed by our volunteers or staff. And then we actually have quite the robust inventory system. So the food immediately gets put into the inventory system and placed in um, the warehouse until it's ready to be sorted. We're able to sort all the food based on, because of the inventory system, based on the day that it's received. Um, and then actually the room that we're in right now, the bins will come into this room and we have teams of volunteers that help us sort it. And they'll sort it into these categories that are around me. Um, and we try to sort it into like items. We're not a grocery store, so unfortunately we can't have one box for every single food category, um, but we try and sort the items into like categories. And from there, it gets, um, these boxes get taped up, they get put back into inventory again, and we could tell you at any time, example, um, how many boxes of individually packaged snacks that we have on the, in the warehouse. Um, and then we have volunteers who go around with our agency orders and they pick the items that will then get put into our trucks and out to the community um, food assistance network. So what's it like volunteering here at the food bank? Very rewarding, even though I feel like I just play a very small part in the community. Um, I get to interact a lot with people bringing in donations, businesses bringing in donations. I get to interact with lots of people that volunteer here, so it feels good. Um, so how much food do you see go through here on a daily average? Oh, on a daily basis, I don't, I, it's hard to do the math in my head, but on an annual basis, I can tell you that we're acquiring more than six and a half million pounds of food over the last number of years. So on a basic day here at the food bank, start to finish, what, what does your day look like? varies depending upon the kind of shift that you sign up for. Uh, some days I'm sorting food, some days I'm answering the customer service door, taking in donations. Sometimes, like today, we're building hampers of fresh food and vegetables that are going out in the community. Other days I might help build orders that are going out to, to organizations such as Salvation Army or Cambridge Shelter that consist of, again, fresh food, vegetables, milk, eggs, etc., whatever they might need. So on a smaller level, when it comes to, say, a family that wants to donate goods or help the food bank in any way, what are the different options that they can do to support that? Yes, they can bring the food to our warehouse at 50 Alpine Court and be greeted by our volunteers who will help them weigh the food. Or um, they can organize a food and fund drive and they can register that food and fund drive on our website. We have staff that will help them to be successful in doing that. Um, and then what we can do is make sure that they're successful and give them some messaging to make sure that they are successful in doing that. If they're out at the grocery store and they have a little bit of extra money in their um, budget that week, pick up one of our most needed items. And there's bins at the exit of most of the grocery stores in the region. And I often hear people say, well, what do I buy? I wanna buy something when I'm out grocery shopping, what can I do? Um, and the most needed food items is always listed on our website at thefoodbank.ca. But alternatively, if you don't have that list available, think about things that you would purchase for your family. Think about things that are high in protein, that maybe are low in sodium, that's going to sustain somebody for a little bit longer. So things like canned meat and fish are really great options. Um, stews and chilies that in a can are really good options to sustain somebody a little bit longer. 
Right now, we're not able to accept perishable donations from the community because we're not quite able to confirm that that cold chain is maintained. Sometimes we do do some events um, where we work with grocery stores and we'll place a refrigerated truck at the grocery store and community members who are interested in making a perishable donation can bring um, the item right out of the grocery store and onto that truck. Um, so keep your eyes, hopefully we'll be able to do something like that in the fall.